A YouTube banner is going to be the first thing a viewer sees when checking out your channel, so you want to make sure that first impression counts. In order to grow your page, you want to make sure your YouTube banner looks great and is sized properly to be seen on all devices. Hey, this is Nick from Snap, and in today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a great looking YouTube banner by repurposing some free custom templates. So let's get right into it. What you want to do first is make sure that you have the best YouTube banner size so that your channel art follows YouTube's requirements. The recommended YouTube banner size is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels and needs to be an image file under 6 megabytes in size. Please keep in mind that your YouTube banner will look different on TV, desktop, tablet, and mobile devices, so you want to make sure your design is created accordingly. To make things simple, we're going to use Snapbook to create a customized YouTube banner image in less than 5 minutes. So once in, we'll scroll down to headers and banners, and we'll click on YouTube channel art. And as you can see, the dimensions for the YouTube banner are already there, so we'll click on that. Once we've selected our size, we can either choose to create from scratch, or we can choose from a variety of different templates that Snap offers. In this case, I'm going to choose this customizable YouTube template here. Once you have your canvas open, you'll notice that the safe zones are already set in place. Now you mainly want to focus on designing in the center, because if you design in any other place, you have the risk of it being cropped out on certain devices. Now you can toggle your safe zone on or off, but I like to keep the safe zone on so I know exactly where to place my elements so that they'll be seen on all devices. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll pretend that my name's Sammy and I run a daily vlog. So I'm going to start by changing the text. So I'll click on the subheading text here. I'll change it to Sammy's Vlogs. Now for this other subheading text, you can choose to write whatever you want in here. Typically a lot of people add a tagline or their social media handles, but in this case here I'm just going to write when I post. Now that I have my text written out, I can actually click on the text and I can change the font style if I'd like, or I can also change the sizing as well. I can also reposition the text to where I want it to be, so I'm going to move this down just a bit so it's a bit center, and I'm also just going to increase the size of Sammy's vlogs. Once I'm happy with my text, I can actually begin to change the color of my YouTube banner to be more consistent with my YouTube branding. So let's say that Sam uses a lot of red in his thumbnails as well as his intro and end card. So I'm going to start by changing this element here to red. I'm also going to change this element under Sammy's vlogs to red as well. Now I'm still not a fan of this orange background here, so I'll navigate to the backgrounds tab. I'll navigate to the colors tab, and I'm going to click on the color picker and actually add a custom red in as well. Now we have a YouTube banner that's going to be a bit more consistent with the rest of our channel. The final thing I'm going to do now is just change these little icons in the corner. If you like them, you can choose to keep them, but in this case, I'm going to click on them, delete them by pressing the button delete or the trash can up here. I'm going to navigate to my graphics tab. I'm going to navigate to the icons tab, and I'm going to type in video. From here, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to find an icon that I like, I'm going to click on it, resize it, and then reposition it to where I want it to be on my YouTube channel art. So now I'm happy with my YouTube banner and I actually like the squiggly lines here, so I'm going to leave it. Once you're done with your YouTube banner, you want to rename it, and also save it in Snap so you can make changes in the future. Now you can download the image to your desktop and upload it directly into Snappa. I would recommend downloading it as a Retina JPEG for the best results. So here's another example of a template that I repurposed to achieve a new channel art. So I turned this template into this one here. And all I really did was I uploaded my own logo by navigating to the graphics tab and clicking upload an image. I clicked on it and as it appeared on the center of the canvas, I resized it and repositioned it to be on the left side. I also changed the color of the left side element here to blue. And I also changed the text to blue by navigating to the color picker on the side here and adjusting it to match this background here. A nice way to personalize your banner is to actually add a photo of you. So I'm going to navigate to the graphics tab. And here I'm going to add a photo of myself in. So once it appears on the canvas, I'm going to reposition it and resize it. 
and then I'm going to move it to the center of the YouTube banner. So I've outlined this in the YouTube thumbnail tutorial before, but to achieve an image without a background, all you need to do is use a tool called remove.bg. It's totally free, so I'll go and take my portrait image that I have a background in. I'll then drag it into the tool. As it uploads, it's going to remove the background super clean. I'm going to click download. And once I have the image downloaded, I'm going to go in, I'm going to upload it as well into the graphics tab like I did before and then add it in. And just like that, I have a photo of myself without a background and it doesn't take anything away from the YouTube banner design. If you're struggling to find YouTube banner ideas, check out the blog post that we just published, which outlines all the different types of templates you can use to create a YouTube channel art but also along with a lot of different examples from our favorite creators. And from here, you can get inspiration on the type of banner that you can make for your own channel. So that's it for today's YouTube banner tutorial. I hope that helped. And if you're looking for more resources, check out the links that I left in the description below. Also, be sure to like this video as well as subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more YouTube content coming and it'll really help improve your channel. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.